So I know that every time we come on a new video, we're like, oh, but this one's amazing. This one's amazing. Guys, there's too many hidden places around here. And we found another one. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this place just made the top. So we are at Echo Treehouse, part of the Echo Farm in Moranga County, Kenya, and it is phenomenal. So let's show you around. about this place because where it's on a farm and we don't get mango trees in Canada you are surrounded by mango trees there's orange trees a whole bunch of fruits on property and like I, I can pick it right here I'm very very happy anyways <laughs> so we come up here and the first thing is that everything's open and I love that so we got barbecue little seating area and this is one of my favorite spots I like this area. I can just picture in the morning or even out there where the table is to have my coffee here. So I have a glass of wine here. It's great. And then you have a kitchen, everything you need. So you've got your stove, you've got tip. They actually come with filter drinking water. Amazing. Um, and look at this. I literally thought it was plastic, like a display. And then I came over and realized this is all the fruits that they grow here. And she's like, yeah, this is all yours while you're here. What's this? Anyone tell me what this is? I'm not really sure. I'm sure we'll figure it out. And then you come over here into the main bedroom. So actually on the other side of the kitchen is another bedroom. Same thing except reverse. So we'll show you the master bedroom. A poster bed with a mosquito net. But all of these windows can slide open, so you actually have a nice breeze coming in, and they will come in in the evening. Close everything up, put the net down, and I'm pretty sure you could sleep with them open if you want to. Bathroom, everything you need in the bathroom. We've got a shower, hot water, toilet. You get, you get the gist. <laughs> but it is amazing because it's a treehouse and it's elevated on the stilt. We should show them that after. Um, your view is awesome and you hear like the tractors going around the farm you just you really feel like you're just part of the farm and not just kind of stuck out if that makes sense so i love it another perspective of how big this platform balcony is well treehouse this is where you have your meals you can so like yeah it's huge I don't think my excitement is coming through as much as I'm excited I even see avocado trees over there and we actually forgot to tell you the main part we're gonna have to show them that at some part so on this farm there's actually three properties including one brand new that is gonna open probably within the next few weeks yeah so the other property that is there we won't be able to go see it but hint hint maybe we'll come back in the future it's pretty cool here <laughs> um, there's people in it right now but that property is called the eco farm house where this is the tree house um, and from what I see with pictures you can literally open your window and ostriches like come in your window that's so uh, cool. that that's really <laughs> cool <laughs> um, but yeah so stay tuned don't know what's gonna happen but I know there is a third property and um, yeah. maybe it'll be up and running by the time the video comes out maybe who knows yeah you check I'll, I'll link their Instagram and yeah, all yeah, the yeah. infos down below there's also a ton of things that you can do like which we didn't know when yeah. when we showed up um, the people in charge <laughs> were like oh when you want to do the, the farm tour apparently there there's a beehives there, there's yeah. a river so like we'll make sure oh. to do everything I told them I want to do everything starting tomorrow at 9 a.m. fun fact there's a hundred and fifty beehives like sprinkled around the property for po like pollination of all the farm. Yeah, which the, is cool. The, they're stingless. Um, the amount of trees, like fruit trees, that there is on this property is unbelievable. We'll we'll show you more tomorrow for Even sure. Even right below us, there's one. There's yeah. a mango tree below us. Crazy. <laughs> so tonight I didn't have time to chop anything, and I really don't feel like chopping anything right now. 
So we're having leftover chili, gonna make some rice, and that is the easiest chili. One of these times, I'll tell you. You guys know how much we love the wine box. It was probably like the first wine shop we ever discovered here. We got all of our wines from there and they just got some new ones in from Chile. They got them in January. We're gonna try them out over the weekend and now that we're actually working with them, if you wanna support us, click the link down below and that'll bring you to their site and you can support us by shopping on their site that way. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> really good. It's very good. Perfect with meat, soft cheese, and... Just red meat and mild cheese. Red meat, mild cheese, and chili. <laughs> so we've been relaxing for a little bit, eating popcorn in this a very fancy bowl. Delicious. So we're gonna catch you guys back up in the morning because there's a lot planned tomorrow. It's a massive property. And like we said earlier, there's a lot to do here. Good night. Good morning, guys. A little cloudy this morning, but still what a view. We slept very well. Now I'm a little bit hungry. So let's go see Tracy who's preparing breakfast. doesn't get much fresher than this. Can we appreciate that like all of this fruit is actually from the farm here? Like that's amazing. So now we're gonna enjoy this uh, fresh breakfast and after that we're gonna go see what's around here because there's actually a lot to see, a lot to do and I heard that they have some of the biggest birds in the world. <laughs> okay then, are you ready to go explore? <laughs> One more bite of peanut butter toast. <laughs> You're gonna be just fine. <laughs> okay, let's go see what this place is all about. So as a tourist started, we're kind of learning like all the things they grow here. And they grow so much more than I thought. So we already saw the avocados, the dragon fruit, oranges, mangoes. What else? I know we saw something else. Star fruits? Star fruits. And then they have their own like personal garden too that they do all the cooking from. But it's amazing! So we actually just learned too that they have about seven pomelo trees. And this is a pomelo tree. They're massive! So this area actually gets a very dry depending on the season and this is why they actually build three artificial dams to make sure that the irrigation for all the fruit trees keep going all the time and right now we're getting a little wet especially uh, bottom down because the uh, the sprinklers are actually working uh, all around the uh, the orange tree to make sure that they, they keep growing. So the entire reason why this farm exists, it's because of this river behind me. Yeah, so basically they pump from this river up to the dams and that's how they water all of the plants. Like, they're completely dependent on it. That's it's crazy. Nature. I know. They even have lantana berry and apparently you can eat them. It's pretty good. So we just came back from the farm tour and it's quite impressive, like 500 acres of land, including 300 acres of farmland and they're growing like literally everything you can imagine. 200 acres, so the other 200 is actually indigenous plants. So yeah. like whatever was here on the farm beforehand, yeah. which is really cool. And we brought back a uh, pomelo. Pome <laughs> Pom pomelo. Pomelo. Struggling I don't, with that yeah, one. <laughs> I don't think I ever tried a pomelo, so uh, we're gonna go cook lunch and, and try it out. <laughs> Time to see how to cut a pomelo. It's gonna take some effort. It is time for me to eat pomelo. Pomelo? Is it pomelo? Pomelo. It's very hard to, to peel, apparently. Really Ooh. good. It's good. It's just, I don't know how to peel it properly, is my problem. It's but, so, crunchy. so it's kind of like 
all over the place. Mm. <laughs> but it is really good. So very good. Okay, bellies are full. Let's go see if we can find some ostriches. So they actually have 10 ostriches here, five males, five females. They're not necessarily breeding them. Uh, they're actually rescued. And I just found two other females. We'll see if they're interested in our, our food. Look at that perfect mango. It's the best mango I ever did see if I ever saw one. The two females weren't very interested in my food, but whatever. Tracy's very happy because she picked our first mango ever. So this morning they talked to us about uh, the bees that they have, stingless bees. Uh, apparently they have over 150 different hives all around the farm. And they told us that we could probably see them this afternoon. And I'm a little confused, but apparently they're bringing the bees to us in the treehouse. So we'll see how that goes. So they're using stingless bees, they're very very tiny bees and their purpose on the farm is pollinization and they actually make honey just like regular bees I guess. Let's see if it's any good. Mmm, it's very good, the taste is similar. Okay, my turn to try it. Mmm, it's like a very mild honey, which is, to be honest, I like that better because I'm not a huge huge fan of honey. Mmm, amazing. Need a little afternoon snack. So let's check out the mango that I picked. My mango! Yeah, that's really good. So on top of the bees, they have a full kind of insect operation here um, because they're using insect for a bunch of different reasons. So we're going to go see where, where they have the insects and try to learn a little bit more about them. The more we walk, the more things we discover. So those trees are actually litchi, so that's very exotic to me. <laughs> Plus, this dam actually has tilapia in it. So here's a little sneak peek of the new property that they're building. It's not ready, but very soon. Welcome to a bug's world. Okay, so basically what you see in the green crates is waste and they use the life cycle of the soldier flies basically. So there's like larva and things inside of the waste. Don't get me, don't quote me on technical terms. But basically they breed them and like go through the life cycle because then in the huge pile of mango waste out there, they can actually just use one of the green trays to help decompose it and then they have fertilizer, they have all the bugs for, I don't know, to feed fish and stuff. Like, it's a huge aspect that I didn't know was part of a farm. And I don't know if it's part of all farms, but it's impressive. Sanjay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Best, best guide around. You're welcome. <laughs> Well, that was super interesting. Like, if you come here, especially with kids and things like that, like, they're gonna love it. You can learn so much, and I really appreciate all the efforts that they're doing to stay, like, bio and fully 100% natural and things yeah. like that. It's really cool. And it's nice because they, like, they tell you in a short, concise way, easy to ask questions, yeah. like, didn't drag out too long. It was perfect. Yeah, it's crazy. I love it. And they also grow a papaya and and lychee and it's crazy everything that they everything. <laughs> just everything every time we walk we we learn an, another thing that they uh that they grow so we learn what this is it's called uh an something, apple something something apple i forgot but now we know how to eat it so we're gonna try it out and now to end the day perfectly let's pop a little bubbly As you probably noticed in our like Airbnb type videos, for supper, we're having chicken, potatoes, and veg. It's a go-to for us. So right now we're literally making a supper with everything that's left. So yeah, 
I think it's gonna be very good. We we have some chicken. We have uh, all the veggies and everything. But in the chicken, we put some uh, I don't know some sort of not necessarily pepperoni, but some cold uh, cold cuts. Some little cheese on top. Not sure what kind of cheese. And now this is the moment where I'm gonna try to make a sauce for all that um, for a little dip. But we really don't have a lot of options. So I'm gonna start with a, a base of mayo. I think we have hot sauce, some spices. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what it ends up being. What I love about wooden plates is that no matter what you put in it, it looks fancier. <laughs> I love the aesthetic of wooden dishes. Yeah, it's super Amazing. nice. Tracy, how is our mishmash of everything? It's actually really good. Time to do a little bit of stargazing. Well, that was a great night of sleep. Tracy woke up a little bit before me. I think she's making breakfast. This never happens. I always wake up first normally. What's what's for breakfast, Tracy? I'll get some bacon going, and then I'm like obsessed with doing this every morning now. <laughs> I want all the fruit in the world. Anyways, um, yeah, we have some leftover potatoes and eggs. Hmm. All the good stuff. Cool shirt. I thought so too. <laughs> I really like it. And another breakfast with a view. Tracy, what was your favorite thing about this place? Definitely all the fresh fruit that you get. And the mangoes were amazing. And it's oranges. Oh, also, we saw the date tree yesterday. And while you're here, you can eat all the fruit you want. When we come in, they're like, this is all for you. I mean, I'm not going to take it all home. Trust me. But, anyways, I think the really cool part is when you're able to see the farm tour as well, see how, like eco-friendly that it is and it was like I never imagined going on an eco farm tour just a farm tour but this was super interesting highly recommend you do it it added a huge element to this place for sure what was your favorite part David well for me it's the ambiance and this view it's just phenomenal and this place is just the perfect little getaway especially for couples but there's two rooms so you can bring some friends or your family or whoever you want but I highly highly recommend so I'll put their information down below they're gonna have uh, the third property open like very soon right now there's two and I think I think we're gonna have to be back here because it's it's great and otherwise see you in the next one <laughs>